Mm-mm-mm. That's some first-class pie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. My car is parked outside. If you could join me as soon as possible, I'll be doubly grateful. Gentlemen, I'm closing up. Time to move along. So early? What are you talking about, Ness? Are you serious? We don't have to tell them. I'm sorry, guys. I have to close up. Today's meal is on the house. Oh, yeah? Tomorrow's, too. Or I'm not coming back. You got that? Whatever you say, Dickinson. Jeez. Oh, he's still got that ugly coat. I should have loaded it into Docker's gun and shot Capone. Maybe it would have jammed again, but one way or another it would all be over. It's curious that Docker's daughter is named Claire, and the missing child poster we saw was also of Claire, so does that mean the missing children went missing ages ago? Literally 20 years ago? And those posters have just been up there for so long? Kills his family and flees. This morning, Osmond Burke, the condemned rapist of Vermont and son of the rich tycoon, Jebediah Burke, killed his family in what seems to have been a rage attack. You know how it said that Ness couldn't solve a bunch of child missing children crimes? So I guess Claire went missing ages ago. The prologue thing that we saw was a long, long time ago, it would seem. Yeah, there's another one of those posters. The police are welcome. You can't see it that well, though. I have to pay for my own machine. That's some bull. Suck it, Ness. <sighs> Dickinson. True to his name. Yeah, look at all these missing people. You know, you think that sometimes this only happens in TV shows and games and stuff. But I remember once visiting a really kind of out of place town in my province. I live in Canada. And there was a diner with all of these missing children posters from like over 40 years ago. So very eerie, but also not untrue at the same time. Oh, we gotta move. <laughs> I thought it was a cutscene. <laughs> oh, there's the guy, so... Is there any room for exploration? Blues and bullets! That's what our diner is named. Food to dine for. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it? Because dine and die? Ha! Ha ha! Okay. At last, Mr. Ness. Please get in. Where are we going? A place that's a little too fancy for a guy like you. But if it's any consolation, it's way too fancy for me. Please get in. I can't afford for you to catch a cold. It scares me that he's being so courteous with me. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know if Ness is super short or if that guard guy was super tall or what.
fancy hotel. We'll be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? What is this place? Masquerade Ball, Venice. Huh. Not much we can look at. What? Oh my god, that guy's hat. The guy right in front of me? What's wrong with his hat? It's a really interesting hat. This certainly does look like a kind of fancy place. Ah, we can talk to a receptionist. Of course, everyone else is talking to them on the other side of the counter. But no, we gotta be special. We're right behind them. Oh. These don't seem to be regular receptionists. Let me just have one more look at it. Is that a- it's a flower. And a fish. A koi? Is that a koi? Seems almost Asian in origin. The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. Hmm, yeah. Nearly a fireball in midair. It would have burned down half the city. Still a little fuzzy on what this place is. Ah, it's a masquerade ball. That's why everybody is all weirdly dressed up. The station. Good job. Good job. Should I help him or can I help him or what? <laughs> oh god, this guy. He's not even picking it up. He's just like, oh well, that's that's it. My life is over. <laughs> a. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. So it's a hotel. Why does a hotel have this kind of a tunnel? Have we ever gone anything? We just sca we got scammed by like two of those machines already. We haven't gone anything. Hmm, is that it? Of course, normal people have to wait, but we don't. Okay, let's go. Wait, is this really a hotel? A cable car? No, I think we're inside the Hindenburg. Because earlier the painting was talking about how the owner transformed the ship into a monument or whatever. Scared of heights? Yeah. Since I was a kid, I like to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> that makes two of us. This guy seems friendly enough. If you need a paper bag, I have one. Scared of heights, hooks down. How high does this thing go? Higher than the clouds. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, I think I get it now. We were in an actual building on the ground, and the cable car takes us to the Hindenburg. I think that's how it is. And now we are actually going to be going into the ship now. Oh, 
I do not like that glass in the center. No? It's hilarious how that guy's motions are mapped to mine. <laughs> so everyone has a mask here, everyone's enjoying their time. I'm sorry. But I'm just like a sore thumb. The receptionist is all the way over here. I'm afraid I can't come with you. Thanks for the pie. But... Welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please? <laughs> he already knows I'm coming. Ness. Elliot Ness. Thank you, Mr. Ness. Nice choice. Sounds genuine. And now, how can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. Listen, Susan. I don't know if he signed in as Mr. Capone, Mr. Scarface, or Satan himself, but I know he's here. And now you're going to tell me which room he's in, or you're going to have a problem on your hands. He's... he's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. <laughs> My Ness is a... Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Ness. <laughs> My Ness is a no-nonsense kind of guy. Don't try to make him make silly Your names. attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in three minutes. We don't need that. What kind of person can afford this kind of luxury? Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day and suddenly the storm hits you. The news clipping said that Al Capone went to jail and came out, right? He's already out again. And I guess he's enjoying his luxuries. Venice above the clouds, masquerade ball. This is the very definition of high society. It's a theater. A theater on a ship in the sky. You can't go in there, sir. They're in rehearsal. Theater? Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. They open in a couple of nights. Perhaps Mr. Capone can get you a ticket? Capone? He's at this hotel? Gosh, I'd heard the opposite. <laughs> I like how she stops me, even though there's like this big buff dude. Right here. I just learned how to jog. <laughs> the, the silly little jog is kind of immersion breaking though, so maybe I'll just walk normally. Oh, do I really have to look at this? No, show us down below. Oh my god. Higher than the clouds. Oh! The acrophobia kicking in. I'm not acrophobic, but heights in general are kind of scary to me, I guess. Yeah, not much around here. Mysteriously, the guard disappears. And you know, this place is already full of rich people. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. But evidently, Al Capone is another level of rich. Being able to afford a presidential suite in this super expensive looking place already. I found it pretty interesting that the ornaments seem to be pretty Asian. Look at these frames. In the cable car, there was a lantern too. A. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Right. I don't think I can skip it. So we'll just have to sit through it. <laughs> oh wow, fireworks. At this height? The window cleaners up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. <laughs> oh jeez. I would assume that this kind of place has automatic window cleaning facilities. 
Like how you know in a windshield in a car that you can squeeze out that liquid. Liquid. Yeah, that, that liquidy stuff. That can clean it automatically. Slash, did I have a wife? Is it gonna scam me again? Damn. Are you come on? <laughs> oh my god. That's no way to act in high society, Mr. Ness. Well, this one doesn't look residential at all. <laughs> Just married. People have their honeymoons here, it seems. And so, one day, my magnificent flying wonder will purify this pagan city with the eternal fire. 